Cancer, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, August 2020. I'm using Crystal Visions. This is going to be your August monthly. For Cancer, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, Cancer. Wow, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, full head of the deck for you. Um, a new relationship, some sort of emotional wish come true. I mean, this is beautiful. New relationship, new home, new job that you're falling in love with. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. If you're wishing for another water sign, or you could be bringing somebody's wishes coming true to them. I like it though. Two of Cups was stuck in there too. Some of you, it's definitely a new relationship. I just happened to catch that. And it flipped up again after I put it back in the deck. Some of you are absolutely falling in love with someone, meeting someone new. This person's definitely your soulmate, Cancer. That's definitely for a small group of you, that whole reading. did not flip up. Your cards go perfect. Cancer, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram for additional um, live weekly readings. Love to have you there. Links are below. Oh, so yeah, I'm changing it up. You guys know I like to do that. I'm doing the Celtic Cross spread for you guys. What a way to end. Wow. Magician, Virgo, Gemini. This is having absolutely everything you need to manifest a new beginning. To manifest something new. To be successful. Some of you could be getting even very creative, resourceful. You're starting you know, Queen of Swords here. Scorpio, Virgo, yeah. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Very, you know, very sharp woman, clear-minded, focused, determined. You know, also a truth seeker. She's all about the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You know, and, and, and when she wants to find out something, she absolutely will. In combination with the magician, some of you are definitely very focused on starting something new. And for some of you with the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups, for some of you, it's absolutely a relationship. The only thing that, that you might have to deal with when it comes to this, all of this, it's definitely not going to happen overnight. You have temperance here in the challenge position. Some of you definitely could be dealing with some divine timing. You know, and you have it with the Wheel of Fortune too. And, when, you know, when divine timing is at play, you just need to just wait it out. But it's also, you know, a very spiritual energy. Just stay positive. Something is definitely not happening overnight, but it might be happening throughout the entire month. 
but it's definitely happening and you guys are going to be successful with the magician someone whether it's you someone else is definitely manifesting something and it's happening and you will be successful There could have been an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, woman you were dealing with. Maybe this person was helping you for others of you, you know, females, you know, if you, especially if you have earth in your chart, this definitely could be your energy. Maybe something to do with work, career, starting your own business. Focused on your career. Definitely for some, for some of you, you know, definitely you could be starting your own business. In the more recent past, you have the world. You know, if not a business or, you know, a work matter, it could have something to do with a home. You could have moved. Or you're in the process. You know, you could have already started. You know, if not a home, you know, it represents a cycle or a chapter that's completing. Definitely a lot of patient energy here, especially temperance, the world. Really, a lot of, a lot of patience is required here. You know, things could have, like, something definitely could have began this process, could have started, but it is happening slowly. So it could be that some of you are in the process of moving to a new home. You could be changing jobs, going through just some kind of amazing change. You know, the world is travel would be, you know, at a long distance. Crowning you, though, is interesting. You have the Five of Pentacles. That's what you're thinking about. All right. Those of you that are thinking about changing jobs, it's probably because you didn't feel financially secure you know, you could have felt like you weren't getting paid enough. You know, this this um, really is all about, you know, especially in this deck, you know, feeling alone, down and out. Definitely feeling it like you don't have enough. You know, it could be why you're moving. Others of you, that could be why you're changing jobs. It could be why you're manifesting something new. You know, I think it is, be, honestly, you're changing something because you're sick and tired of feeling this way. You know, it is, you know, change, challenge, fives do represent that. And also change. And you're absolutely manifesting something. I definitely feel like you are... I feel strongly. I mean, it's right here. Temperance, Wheel of Fortune, the world. You're definitely dealing with divine timing. Second half of the month. The Chariot. This is, you know, the ultimate victory success card. You know, definitely for some of you, the world, the chariot, some of you are absolutely traveling at a distance. You have Leo, Cancer here, or you're doing this. But Cancer, this is your own card. You're, whatever it is that you're manifesting or someone else's, 
with the magician, I absolutely feel like you guys feel strong, empowered. You could go, you're going to go where you want to go. If you are feeling a little bit depressed at the start of the month, the second half of the month, you're really feeling empowered. You feel as if things are finally moving forward. Things are happening for you. And the Chariot's the Ultimate Victory and Success card. And this success is going to happen. Cancer. No matter what. Probably when you least expect it. How people are seeing you. You have the two of swords. This is someone that's closed off. Blocked themselves. Not wanting to see something. But you know with the chariot. This definitely could be someone that's stuck at a crossroads. Looking at two different paths that they could go down. You can't let fear get in the way of that of you moving forward, you will be able to move wherever you want to go. But some of you definitely around this time could definitely be at a crossroads with the Two of Swords, the Chariot, definitely. And I do, I do feel like this could definitely be some nervous energy. Or you're not open to it for whatever reason. Maybe you feel like it's not going to work out. The Five of Pentacles is like a lack of self-esteem. Definitely just try to stay open. You have to, Cancer, to challenge it, to change. Leave the challenges. Be open to change that's taking place. Some of you... I think need to make a very important decision. You're going to need to listen to your intuition when it comes to that. In the position of how others are viewing you, you have the Knight of Wands. Opposite energy from this Two of Swords. Totally. This could be also someone that's not acting. But this is someone that with the Two of Swords, but the Knight of Wands is someone that taking action, very passionate, creative, motivated. You know, they're charging forward very enthusiastically. You might not be too sure about a, like a, a decision within your life, but I think people are, around you are viewing you as very, you know, confident, just not sure with moving forward and really making things happen. And again, listen, travel is significant here big time and so is a home. Moving to a new home. You know, in, in your hopes and fears, you have the three of cups. Hoping to be able to have the time to spend with friends, to get out and about, socialize. Hoping to reunite. You know, with someone, definitely with that Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, I see that happening for you. Could be someone helping you celebrate the success with you starting down this new path. And I mean, you're leaving the month with the Wheel of Fortune. My, this is my most favorite card. And you have the magician with the with the world, the chariot. Now the wheel of fortune. Guys, you have some amazing major arcana. I mean, that's like going, this is going through. If this was a private reading for somebody, this is going through major, big, big changes here. This card, the world temperance, you're absolutely dealing with divine timing. Because the Wheel of Fortune is things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. So at the beginning of the month, 
you know, things are progressing slowly, you know, just la la la, lally gagging, taking its time, and but still progressing. And at the end of the month, things are definitely like really picking up the pace. And you're noticing that a lot more is starting to happen. And it's absolutely new beginnings that's coming in with this combination. You're going to make this happen or someone else is going to make this happen for you. I mean, you have Leo. You do have Virgo. T Taurus. I'm sorry, Virgo, Gemini, male or female, because, you know, the magician. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, too. Things have been tough. All right, let's clarify. Let's see. Um, right, definitely, I want to see the Five of Pentacles. Priestess, sorry, two of pentacles, three of pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, this is definitely work, career. You probably feel overworked. I see that here with the ten of wands. You know, un overworked, underpaid. You probably don't feel financially secure. You know, the Two of Pentacles definitely could be you juggling your finances. With the Three of Pentacles, <coughs> excuse me, and that Ten of Wands, you guys really are working your asses off. I mean, really. Way overworked. But yet some of you are some of you are still struggling financially or you're just not where you want to be. But you could be making a very important decision regarding your career, like starting your own business, getting a new job. And, you know, even with the high priestess, listen to your intuition and you are still, you're being spiritually guided. Like your intuition is definitely speaking to you. So no matter how you resonate with this reading, it can definitely be you making an important decision, weighing the options. But again, you could manifest, you could build, create, start, whatever it is that you want and move forward. Why are we not doing that? Let's see the Two of Swords. I'm sorry, the Mini Radiant Rider weight. Whoa, Cancer. All right, these are flipped up, so those are the ones I'm gonna take. Let me make sure I didn't drop any, okay. Okay, this is what came out um, on the Two of Swords. Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, and the Hangman. The Two of Swords, someone that needs to make a decision. Also with Judgment, that's exactly what it could be. Whether it's you, Cancer, or someone else is absolutely making a very important decision. And with the hangman, someone, someone needs time alone to see things from a different perspective. Like, take a step back so that the right decision could be made. And again, it could be in regards to your career. 
financial, even, you know, a relationship, something to do with a home, a big decision is needed. Just some of you need time because the two of swords, this is definitely someone that is just not doing anything. They're not moving. They're not acting. Shit, they're blindfolded. They don't want to see nothing. And there is also a lot of travel in the cards for a lot of you. You know, being that the pandemic, I mean, there is so much is, you know, at a halt right now. Some of, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of travel here for some of you. Either you're going to see someone, because there's a lot of movement here. And I really feel like the third week is when you're really going to really like get, ex get excited. Things are going to pick up. Patience is just, it's, it's slim. You just, it, it's temporary with the hangman. Okay, I'm going to pull you a Romance Angels card and Magic Earth. Magic Earth. Okay. That is very interesting. Look at that. Listen, look at strength. This is you having that inner strength to deal with whatever comes your way. This is about courage, confidence, believing in yourself. At some point this month, you're going to need to go in and search for that confidence or the courage you know, that, that you need, that you guys need, but you're absolutely going to get there. And that literally popped right out of the deck. I mean, even with the mountains here, yeah, things have been tough, but you are completing a very difficult cycle. You're in the process of it. And it all comes down to divine timing. Interesting. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Some of you could be dealing with someone that has some sort of addiction. Codependency will also come up when, you know, you're staying in a relationship that's no longer serving you or you're codependent on this person. Obviously, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for those of you that it does, I think really definitely going within and finding that inner strength when it comes to dealing with this. And I, and I, I really do feel you are being spiritually guided for this to come to an end. It's coming very soon. Very soon. For some of you, sooner than others but if it didn't resonate cancer you know watch your other signs if you are not subscribed to the channel please be sure to subscribe absolutely adore you guys and i'll see you back here soon